Okay. Hare Krishna, my name is Bhakti Gauravani Goswami. I'm here in New Rajamandala, Spain, uh, where I'm responsible for this uh, rural community. And I welcome you to our little presentation, our video about our farm, our cows here. Ong Surabhyay Namaha. Goshala, or well, these are the few cows we have, five of them. Ah, that's my main uh, how you say, place where I normally stay. Uh, although I travel quite a, quite a lot, I have, I have responsibility here also for uh, the farm community. This place was bought in 1979, and so at that time devotees in Spain, they were all very young. Now they're all getting getting older and uh, they have families. But um, right from the beginning, I think we had, now these of course came later, but there were always, uh, uh, the, this whole building where the cows are staying had been there before. So uh, it's, it's a farm, although it has been used mainly by the previous owner as a uh, summer residence uh, with for his friends and his family. So yes, now it's almost 37 years uh -huh. we have been here. Mm -hmm. Now, however, as you can see, the population of our cows is still rather small mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because although uh, our our philosophy of Krishna consciousness, cows are a central part without any doubt. After all, Krishna is a cowherd. <laughs> <laughs> but we are not really cowards, <laughs> I have to admit. Um, most, if not all, of the devotees have no previous experience um, even living uh, on the land, in a farm, or taking care of uh, cows. So in that sense, it has never been easy. We have one Bhakta, uh, Bhakta Alberto, who has been taking care of our cows since over for 15 years now. So they are well taken care of, but he is practically alone. Sometimes some visitors come and they like to help in the Goshala, but to find, like from the younger generation, somebody who feels that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, or even for some years to come, uh, it's not so easy. Eh? Uh, even living on the farm, we also find that those who come here to live, very few stay over longer periods of time because simply we have been, you can say, spoiled by this um, present Kali Yuga's so-called civilization, which just exploits the cows, uh, never really thinks of cows as something more than some kind of machine mm -hmm. that gives, yes, milk products and finally the flesh that, that people uh, eat. So we have grown, grown up in, 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 in that civilization and um, some other it has taken also its toll on our understanding and consciousness of how life is supposed to uh, be lived. Siddha Prabhupada, he from the very beginning pointed out that this type of civilization as we have it, and still it's going on, actually it's doomed. Uh, he said, sometimes he mentioned some time span, but I think he mentioned more, more or less at most a hundred years. Mm -hmm. So we have 50 years have passed since <laughs> then. So maybe another, maybe another 50 years, and, uh, but as we, anybody with a little bit of intelligence can understand that there's no real future in a civilization that is, in the case of cows, is simply exploiting both cows and the land actually, um, and not really taking care of it, and um, being so proud of all the technology that uh, we have been 
be able to invent to make life uh, pleasant or easy. So, because we have grown up in, in this atmosphere, <clears throat> even for devotees, even I would say in general in, in ISKCON for most of devotees, there's a kind of disconnect uh, to this, what we, what Prabhupada used to say, simple living <laughs> and high thinking. We are still in the high thinking, uh, high living and simple thinking <laughs> <laughs> atmosphere. That's actually what happens. Uh, we like to have all comforts that come with technology and thinking doesn't go much beyond just taking care of our basic needs and then I'm happy, you know, I have my internet connection and then everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically, you know, how, how we think. So to, to consider that it's, this is real life, it's very difficult. I find, even my, for myself, I have to admit, although I know, and I accept and I would like to think like that, but I don't very often think like that because just the whole atmosphere is against it. It's a big challenge and I, I have to, yeah, I can say I admire um, devotees like Bhakti Raghava Maharaj or in Hungary there's Shiva Maharaj and the devotees there who are more actively um, not only promoting but living uh, our our philosophy in that sense that uh, we should depend on the land and specifically on cows so we need help yes. <laughs> I need help <laughs> most of us need help yes. in that regard yes. because we are really disconnected yes. it's very difficult yeah and it's everywhere it's basically the same we're yes. living in cities yes. We are really depending on technology, yes, uh, cars and computers and the internet and this and that and, and the other thing. And if we don't have it, then life almost becomes meaningless. So um, how to change our consciousness? That's going to be a big challenge. Now here we have an opportunity. <laughs> now, I am getting older and older and older every day. Uh, I invite, I hope somebody may become inspired uh, to live in this kind of atmosphere. We have land, we have places to stay, but we don't have persons who really feel that this is what I want to do. So if you think that maybe I want to try this, I feel attracted, I would like the idea, this is one of the opportunities we have in ISKCON, Yoga Jamandala. In the summer it's becomes hot it's it's in Spain but in the winter I can already say it becomes cold also but we have a lot of forest you can cut your wood and have heat, wood heating there's no problem <laughs> uh, and the cows are here they are waiting and we would like to expand the Goshala have more and more cows and have more milk to also uh, give nice boga prasadam to the deities so uh, if somebody feels not just by donations are also welcome, but it's, it's better, it's much more substantial if somebody would dedicate his life to cow protection yeah. and farming and fulfilling Prabhupada's desire of establishing rural communities with Varnasham Dharma as the basis to give an example for the rest of the world how to really live a human life. Hare Krishna.